About 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth was a very different place from what we know today. At that time, a massive cosmic event occurred that would change the history of our planet forever. An ancient protoplanet the size of Mars, called Thea, collided with Earth in a powerful impact that created a huge field of debris. From this field, the Moon formed, giving rise to the giant impact hypothesis. Calculations from the Big Splash suggest that the collision between Thea and Earth occurred at a speed of 9.8 kilometers per second, at an angle of 45 degrees. This impact would have generated a shock wave around the Earth in the next few hours, creating the field of debris that would eventually form the Moon over the next millions of years. Although this hypothesis is supported by several scientific pieces of evidence, astronomers have discovered something even more fascinating about the formation of the Moon. They suggest that the Moon may have formed in a matter of hours from the debris field, instead of taking millions of years to consolidate. If this theory is correct, it would be a groundbreaking discovery regarding our natural satellite. But how did scientists come to this conclusion? The first clues about the formation of the Moon came from the Apollo 11 mission when astronauts brought back samples of lunar rocks and dust to Earth. When these samples were analyzed, scientists found that they dated back about 4.5 billion years, suggesting that the Moon formed about 150 million years after the formation of the Solar System. This period of time is considered one of the most turbulent windows in the history of our solar system, which reinforces the theory that the giant impact was a cataclysmic event that changed the face of our planet. In summary, the formation of the Moon is a fascinating event that continues to intrigue and challenge scientists to this day. During the formation period of the inner solar system, astronomers believe there were around 20 small planets, and studies suggest that the collision of these smaller planets led to the formation of our four terrestrial planets. The last significant collision, which may have created the Moon, involved a celestial object the size of Mars, known to astronomers as Thea. According to the conventional hypothesis, when Thea collided with Earth, millions of pieces were broken off from the Earth's mantle. Over the next millions of years, these pieces slowly mixed into a disk and eventually fused into a molten sphere, the Moon. Astronomers have supported this theory since the 1970s, but recent research suggests that the Moon may have formed in just a few hours, rather than slowly and gradually. It's interesting to imagine that the Moon formed in a short amount of time, instead of millennia, as everyone believed. Did you also think like me, or does this new theory not surprise you? Although the predominant theory suggests that the Moon is mainly made of Thea, the composition of many analyzed lunar rocks so far resemble rocks found on Earth. In addition, the rotation of Earth and the orbit of the Moon have notable similarities. These intriguing observations lead researchers to investigate other possible scenarios for the formation of the Moon after the collision. To aid in this investigation, researchers used a computer program called SWIFT, which simulates complex gravitational and hydrodynamic forces that come into play during and after a collision. The team ran the program on a supercomputer nicknamed Cosma, exploring different scenarios for the formation of the Moon and seeking to better understand its history. By analyzing the simulations, we can observe the initial separation between the proto-Earth and the outer remnant of the impactor. The inner remnant transfers angular momentum to the ejected Proto-Earth satellite and Thea material, launching them into orbit. The particles forming the satellite and the inner remnants are highlighted, while other parts are left in black. The newly established theory may explain some of the intriguing properties of the Moon, such as its wide, tilted orbit, thin crust, and partially melted interior, 
making it one of the most interesting explanations for its origins. However, more evidence is needed to confirm it, including data on the lunar mantle. For this, rock and dust samples from the depths of the moon need to be collected. The surface of the moon needs to be examined to verify the accuracy of these simulations. NASA's Artemis mission has as one of its main objectives to collect samples from other parts of the Moon and deeper below its surface, allowing scientists to verify and refine our theories about the Moon's evolution over billions of years. As we learn more about how the Moon came into being, we will also discover more about the evolution of Earth and its interconnected natural satellites. I find myself thinking about how surprising the universe is, and how some theories can be revised from one moment to the next. This shows the inconsistency of what we really know about our stellar history. I hope you have already liked the video and commented, leave your mark. Subscribe.